Hello everyone and welcome to the fantasy match preview for the game between Mumbai and Punjab. Before that, I'd like to speak about the fan to play leaderboard where the top three winners go to Australia to watch the T20 World Cup. And this leaderboard is currently in its second phase, so means your chances are refreshed of going and winning prizes. So go make 25 teams, go to Australia. Apart from that, win lots of cash prizes, win the Grand League and have lots of fun. So, hope all your GL leaderboard teams are ready. We have a very special guest with us today, Nikhil Crick Crazy Nix. He's going to give you lots of suggestions on your base team as well as your GL teams. Welcome, Nikhil. Thank you so much. Pleasure to be here with the fan. Thank you. Do you think Mumbai is getting their first win this game or not yet? Uh, looks like the stars are not aligning. Not for Mumbai as so far. But hopefully, the, the tournament needs Mumbai to win. Uh, it needs tournament. The tournament needs more teams competing, and it's surprising that you're telling that for Mumbai. But right. such are the times. Auction strategy has to backfire. It looks suppose. like we are already an eight-team IPL before half the <laughs> season. <laughs> yes. But anyway, yes. let's get to the team for today. Yeah. So I think first up the keepers. I think very obvious choices from this section: Kishan and Besto. Do you see any yes. matchup, anything threatening either of them? Apart from them being a default small league pick, oh, I think yes, both of them are very obvious picks. Uh, I am very keen to see whether Punjab drop Odian Smith for Rajapaksha. Mm. If they if they do that, then Rajapaksha becomes a very interesting pick to take because he is in form. Mm. And the way Mumbai are uh, bowling, you just have to see a Bumrah and then you can just go have fun. Oh, so yeah. uh, that way it could be beneficial. Also, very keen to see if Sandeep Sharma plays. He has a very good record backups. against. The yeah. top three, Kishan, hmm. Suryu Kumar, and Rohit Sharma. So, I don't think they'll drop Vaibha Varuna, but if they do, it just becomes a very good handy to try out. Something but I think Vaibha has different. similar proposition in terms of swing and pace, so maybe. Yeah, so if, like if, Mumbai, like if Mumbai bat first, it will be tricky for them to start. We've seen them hmm. find it very hard. So, uh, swing bowler up top is always handy. So, yeah, for now, wicket keeping section, two picks, Kishan and Johnny Baba. Well done. Then on to the batsman. So, first choice, uh, Rohit Sharma, pick, drop, leave, GL. Uh, we'll have to ask Rohit how he feels about it. But uh, for now, I'm, I think it's better to go with form guys from Mumbai. Hmm. So, uh, so Suri Kumar and other ways are probably not there. And hmm. uh, I think Telak Verma, he just had one bad game. Uh, he got run out and take out Maxwell. So, I think I'll take both of them from Mumbai. Rohit, right. if they are chasing, I'll probably be tempted to take Rohit. Batting first, hmm. maybe, maybe not, maybe. But you can always try with two teams, so yeah. Right. Then on to the Punjab batsman. I think Dhawan is quite an obvious choice, especially yes. I think both the Punjab openers, because like you said, if they get through Bumrah, then there's nobody else really stopping them through the middle or the end. Yeah, uh, Mayank's matchup with Jasprit Bumrah will be uh, very critical with the price. Hmm. So it's about Jasprit how uh, Mayank takes care of that first spell. I think. Sometimes you just want to take, give yourself an over or two. I think Mayank has given him three, four balls. Maybe hmm. give yourself more time and just then go after the bowling because it's a, it's a good. See, I know Punjab want to attack from ball one, but hmm. just give yourself the best chance to execute it better. So that's all that I feel because especially there is no better hmm. exactly, <laughs> and there is no better time to smash Mumbai than it is right now. So True. hopefully it doesn't work out the the other way for them. But uh, yeah, so far it looks like Mumbai are very weak with the bowling. So let's see what changes they make as well. Apart from that, we have one more matchup in this section, which is for the informed man Surya Kumar Yadav. Again, Rabada yes. dismissed him multiple times, and I feel on this section that Rahul Chahar would have an ace or two up his sleeve against Surya because he's a ex Mumbai. Yeah. I spent most of yes. his time there. And in the and Surya is going to come in in the middle overs, and we see that when a spinner has pace on, he's able to dink them around. But Rahul Chahar yeah. slides up the ball quite a bit, so I feel that yes. can be a tackle. So maybe that's a GL option. Yes, for sure. I think safe mate in small league it might be just too risky to drop hmm. Surya. But yeah, if you are somebody who loves to play with fire, then please. <laughs> Apart from that, then the all-rounders, I think Liam yeah. is the very obvious choice from this section. Yes. And yeah. I think Liam will come in when Bumrah's spell is pretty much done and dusted in the opening phase. So, yeah. he might get to face the kind of bowlers who he can really play around with. Yes. And second pick would be Pollard or yeah, Brevis? It's a toss-up between Brevis and Pollard, but I think Pollard has historically had some very great performances against Punjab. 
so hmm. i think he'll be back mumbai will be wanting him to come good come big both with bat and ball and we've already started to see surfaces tire down a bit at times so hmm. how the pitches are also critical because you could see him bowling two three overs and if he by god forbid bowls at the death for some reason he could potentially take a two three first so and we've seen yeah. that polar do that so uh, it's a very tricky call to take but i'll still stick with polar only i think uh, i'm backing the experience to come good there right okay okay then the bowlers i think bumrah and rabada are the default picks from the section especially because yes. they both have positive matchups against the yeah. opposition and the third pick would be rahul chahar because we're seeing all the ex players doing well yeah. against their ex teams so probably the case one more time yeah ex players and also legs in the middle overs are always uh, a trick to have because somebody who's control is there and rahul should know everything about mumbai i don't think there should be any when that he doesn't know where to bowl to them so uh, that could really play it it could work both ways like mumbai will also know <laughs> yes so mumbai will also know that uh, hmm. about rahul but i think it should be a good contest you would normally see very close games with mumbai and punjab so hmm. uh, hopefully we have a cracker of a game yeah true apart from that who do you see as captain and vice captain in your small league team So, oh, if so, I have a couple of scenarios in mind that if Mumbai hmm. are batting first, I'll probably go with Suri Kumar Yadav as a captain potential in the mini grand league team. Uh, but then you have to be very sure that Rahul is not the one who's getting him out. So that is one case. If uh, uh, Delhi are chasing, I think Shikhar is a very good option while chasing while hmm. chasing because he can pace his knock that much better. So that's option two. You always have the risky option of going with Pollard and Livingston. uh because those two guys are crazy fellows they can turn the game around with both bat and ball so if so, mumbai are bowling first and you feel that mumbai have less options with the ball you could make polari or vice captain livingston captain and they both could have real real fun and of course your left field choices are mayank agarwal and rohit sharma the two openers so that's pretty much everybody covered if you want to go if you want to say that <laughs> I think Bumrah in first bowling yet will again become yes. a very good option. Bumrah always yeah. he's like just like Harshal. <laughs> yeah. So I think that covers the team for us. Apart from that, any Grand League suggestions or any players who you feel can come really good against this opposition or any matchup apart from that? Yeah, I think what is very important to see is uh, the venue and the conditions that are there. Uh, far hmm. too often uh, we even see the pitch reports going horribly wrong, but if there is no dew then the spinners in the second innings sometimes we've seen the bowling in the second innings is almost toothless we don't see anybody taking a wicket anybody and then suddenly wicket. somebody else yeah. comes in and somebody randomly picks up two three so i think that is something that people will want to see because it's pune uh, normally yeah. there isn't enough dew there because of the wind and the open ground so right. uh, it should be a good game hopefully rohit mayan we've seen a pattern of unusual performers doing well So who hmm. knows? This could be that uh, game for Grand Leagues for many. True. I think apart from that, in uh, in Pune, there is a good amount of bounce in the starting yeah. overs, and there is some good hold for spinners in the middle. So it'll probably be yeah. a balanced battle, like a one sixty yeah. sort of pitch. Yes. So yes. yeah, I think I think from my end, the punt captain, if he bowls second, is Rahul Chahar. <laughs> yes. I really Legs feel in, that he can have good yeah. impact. Leg spinners in second innings always always uh, a good ploy to bank on. True. Apart from that, lastly, what are your challenge picks? Two, three, or four this game? Uh, very tempted to go four because of Mumbai's unusual selections, but I'll stick with mm. three in uh, Surya, Bumrah, and Dawan. Uh, so these three guys are probably safe guys if you want to call it. But hmm. given Mumbai's form, I feel both Bumrah and Surya have to do a key role, and they are likely to be one of the top performers for them. So those two, and because I think Dawan is the best guy to face that attack if he's chasing. So in that hmm. case, I'll definitely go with uh, with Chikar. And you have plenty of good options. As a Rahul Chair, if he's bowling second and you feel that he'll run through, then you can obviously have Rahul Chair as well. So he could be the potential fourth pick if you want to go. That. And yes, this is Rahul Chahar's 2017 home for Rising Pune Super yes. Giants too. So, yes. <laughs> yeah, and might have Lots some sweet memories. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and maybe if you, if you want to go with four players, anybody, I think Liam Livingston is also a very safe choice yes. because he's sort yeah. of the fifth bowler and he's batting in the top, so becomes a good fourth safe choice. Yeah. 
Yes. So yeah, I think I have it all from mind with you. Uh, yes. Apart from that, anything that you want to add, anything that you feel will change in this game, all your suggestions before we close. Uh, I will say just back unusual performance in Grand X. Uh, safe things are not working for people. So go ahead, make Bumrah Rapada your captain, vice captain, or make Rahul chair, or Jaydev Nadkar your captain, vice captain. Who knows who will end up with a three for? But again, those are only for grandings. We have discussed a soft, no. small team in detail. So I think most often, most of the guys will do that only. So yeah, let's hope we have a good game. Great, thank you, thank you so much, Nikhil. And I'm seeing you again on the weekend for another preview very soon. Thank you so much. Okay, yes, thank you so much. Have a good day, guys. Happy Mondays.